Hey, it's unbelievable how much leaf the trees have lost there. Our walnut trees. They're beautiful in autumn, though. Yeah. Everything happened in days, eh? Yeah. Oh well, it's not going to get done by itself. No, it let's reclaim there. it. Let's reclaim our living room. Oh. Well, it took us seven and a half months to get to this point. But today, we are claiming our living room. Claiming it back from being a storage to from material storage to um, food storage to animal storage <laughs> to everything yeah. really the living room has been a bit of a transport zone in and out and all of that and most of our time now has been spent in the bedroom we're feeling cooped up yeah. we've got heat in the living room so let's claim it we need to let's paint it decorate it and do whatever we can with the materials we have now. Yeah. Let's do it. Let's do it. In the final stage here, we're gonna have some wallpaper. But right now, autumn is setting in and we really can't be living as much outdoors as we were before. So we thought, okay, let's just find a way to enjoy the living room right now and not spend a single dime. This also means that at some point, hopefully, let's see, we're going to be un unwrapping our sofa. And that we're pretty excited about because we bought it, oh, about 10 months ago, so we can't wait to see it. So, so yeah, we're pimping up the living room with the stuff that we have for zero. Right, Dan? Yeah. It needs to cost us nothing doing this. What we have in terms of paint, we have a lot of gray still, right? A lot of light gray. Yeah, yeah, about 10 liters probably. Yeah. And we also have the test paint that we bought, a liter each. Yeah. So, so, what we're thinking about doing is kind of painting it, like using our test paint and defining some areas a little bit here. So, we both have to go back to freelancing now. Yeah. And this means that we need to have a good office space set up. Now, this test paint kind of looks like a flag of some random <laughs> non existing country. And I can't say that it's all that inspiring to look at. No. So what we decided to do is that we're going to be kind of painting this area green as much as we can with the te test paint that we have. And the other part, which is more like the living room area, is going to be painted blue. Now, it's also a thing that, that was recommended to us by our paint guy, Tony, just to paint bigger surfaces, just so that we can really be sure of the color that we're using in this room. Yeah. And the test paint is a good way to do that, I think. Yeah, totally. Because to be frank, guys, I'm really not sure about the blue. Now, Dan, you've been saying the blue is going to get darker when you have two coats on there. And you're most certainly right. But maybe we could go a few shades darker. Yeah. Now, in the coming weeks, we're also going to be building the kitchen. Because, as you saw, we just brought in the wood. And that needs to kind of... You, you call it normalized. Normalized, yeah.
you went there, you went back to the group. So done. We <laughs> we're gonna put you in there, Maeda. So we're done, so we're done. We finished painting yesterday quite late. Yeah. And right after we were done painting, we busted out our box of vintage frames, yes. right? We have an impressive collection of vintage frames and we cannot wait to display it. We've been collecting them for many, many years. Yeah. And uh, yeah, actually the whole design of the house is kind of based on the collection of vintage frames that we have. Vintage and antiques, this is what we do. We love vintage and antiques, right? So, Madame Butterfly, you're going on the wall. This one's your yeah. favorite. This is my favorite. Madame Butterfly, there you are. She is up. She is up. It feels so weird not to see building material in this room again. <laughs> well, there's still some over there. Let's paint some stuff so we can take everything down. 
But this part is starting to feel more like yes already. Yeah. You need to check with the sun, sunflower stem as well. See if they're all dry. Yeah. Thankfully, we have some fire starter left from when we did that base camp. But that is not going to be.
bed. How does it feel to wake up with a resemblance of a, of a living room? It's pretty great, huh? It's so good. So the gas bottle there is just because we still have the kitchen in the bathroom and um, and yeah but there's a safe distance I don't think the camera will make it justice but there's at least a good meter and a half of space in there.